So welcome to part 2, I was uh, going to talk about uh, Happy Feet uh, but then realized I had no time left uh, but anyway what I was going to say about this one I was talking about Jumanji before and I said anything with Robin Williams is great and this stars Robin Williams too and this was um, well I mean the only reason that I like this movie is because of Robin Williams Maybe that's not really enough for me to say that I like it, but I really like the scenes with him. Basically all the scenes I left is f from Robin Williams' lines. He was really funny in this one. Um, one thing I don't like though is like they... Um, it's an animated movie and uh, an hour in, he maybe this is going to be a mild, minor spoiler, but the main penguin, <laughs> he gets... Uh, captured and um, outside the people, it's like at a zoo, can you call it that, I'm not sure, but the people outside are real people, like by real actors, which I don't like when they do that, put the real people in an animated movie, um, so yeah, but anyway it was okay, uh, not very good, I had expected more. Um, Next up is the Imaginari Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, uh, stars Heath Ledger and Christopher Plummer, Johnny Depp, Jude Law and Colin Farrell. Um, and when I watched this movie I wasn't really sure what, what why, I mean, apparently uh, Heath Ledger, he passed away before he could finish the movie and the, uh, the director Terry Gilliam, his first thought was, well the movie's over. Because I read I read about this afterwards, but then he thought like, well, what if we would take three other actors to play like an, an alternative or imaginarium Tony? So they uh, casted Johnny Depp, Jude Law, and Colin Farrell, sort of as a tribute to Heath Ledger, which I didn't know when I watched it, as I said. Uh, but that's that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, it also stars uh, Vern Troyer, who is awesome. And um, yeah, it was it was a pretty good movie, but it has some weird stuff that I wasn't really, I um, frankly didn't understand. Uh, but made 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 more sense when the movie was over. Anyway, uh, have a slipcase and one disc. So yeah, and then we have, I'm gonna have to, or actually no, I'm not gonna have to hurry because, okay, never mind. Uh, th three sort of um, similar movies to each other, well, in, in, in one way, because they're all old movies, they're all classics, like ultra classics, and um, they're all movies I've had for a while that has kept me from watching them because they're so long. <laughs> so, um, and the first one, which I've had since like November, is uh, The Godfather, and of course November 2009, so a very long time that I had it. Not sure why I didn't want to watch this really. I think the main reason is because it's like maybe the most well-known movie ever made, and um, I don't know, I can't explain really why that would keep me from watching it, it but um, um, like everyone has seen it, it's nothing new, I'm, I don't know. But also, which uh, wouldn't really stop me from watching it either, but I bought this for seven dollars and then I saw that the whole box with all the three movies and an, an extra disc, and it was a nice box that it was like a digipack or well, maybe it was slim cases, but and, never mind, um, was only the double price, so I did a pretty crappy deal here, but I watched it eventually and uh, I liked it, but something that I just need to mention, which is weird, maybe it's just because I am an idiot or maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but pretty much all classic movies that I have seen, like this one for instance, and the two next ones also, also I have found so overrated, I like most of them, so don't get me wrong, but I just, I think they are overrated. I don't know why, just 
pretty much all classic movies I see, which is supposed to be really, really good. I just don't like that much. Uh, I can only think of one exception which I have liked as much as most people seem to do, and that's Apocalypse Now. But uh, anyway, uh, it was good, and I think I'm gonna have to rewatch it. And the next one, uh, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. First of all, I'm, I really don't like spaghetti westerns. I don't like westerns too much either, but definitely not spaghetti westerns. Uh, so, yeah, but this one was good. I mean, also a very, very famous movie. And I'm, I don't have much to say about it, but two discs and... Yeah. And then... Lawrence of Arabia, which I can't. I like the last two, but this one I can't say I like really. Uh, it's like three and a half hours. I'm sure it's a great movie, so don't listen to me. But I thought it was kind of boring. Uh, started out great, but then nothing happened. I thought so. I got bored and lost interest in it. But um, I'm glad that I have seen it. Um, and then we get some. Um, more comedy. First, uh, Scrubs season seven, which I got from my dad on my name day. I don't. I'm not sure if that's the word in English, but um, anyway, he got me this one. I don't have season six though. I have the first five, but not the sixth one. So I'm not sure why he bought me this one. Well, I am. I know why. He said that I had written this up on my wishing birthday wish list. Which I hadn't, so don't know. It's not really important, but um, anyway, um, I love this show, but it's getting a bit worse. And I believe this is where the strike, uh, writer strike, is that what it's called, was. Um, not really read anything about that. I just heard from other people. Um, but uh, I'm, I think season 8 is much longer and that's out too, so I'm gonna get season 6 and 8. Um, so yeah, two discs. And the last one uh, I've had for probably 6 months, or yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, and it's the Phantomas collection with 3 movies. I, I don't know if this is the all three movies by Phantomas or the Phantomas movies, but uh, I guess it is. Otherwise, they would probably release the other one too in the box set. But anyway, it's uh, by the French comedian, actor, comedic actor Louis Stephanie, who I've talked about before. He uh, starred in the Gendarme movies. I had a box set. Uh, by or from or with whatever um, which I really like those movies but this one wasn't very interesting I don't know maybe it's because it has a lot of like fantasy which I don't I can't explain I like fantasy so it's not that it's just I, I didn't like these movies I, well I only watched one but I didn't like that one so I haven't seen the other, the other two because of that I have been meaning to but since I haven't in a couple of months just been laying there, I decided to include in the update and just put it put it on the shelf because I don't think that I will watch them anytime soon at all. Uh, but three movies, as I said, don't know the English titles of this, but uh, yeah, the three different movies here. I don't know if this might help, but the first one is from 1964, second 1965, and the third from 1967. Um, I'm probably gonna watch these, the other two eventually, but uh, yeah, I don't know. But that's my DVD update for this time. Um, I usually have, even when, if I make an update, I usually still have a bunch in front of my TV laying there, um, which I just I haven't seen it yet, so uh, that's why I don't include it, even though I have it. But this time I have not a single thing. So it might take a bit longer to the next update. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but um, I'm probably going to get some new stuff. So but anyway, uh, thank you for watching.